The village of Holman is once again discussing the issue of fluoride in its water. In 2008, you'll remember, voters passed a referendum to begin using the chemical treatment. It was finally implemented in 2011, but only for a week when board members voted to suspend it until new guidelines were approved. News 8's Pauline Lee joins us now with more on why the issue is still a concern today. Well, the debate right now is not whether or not to add fluoride to the water. At issue is what kind of fluoride should be used. The village board recently voted to switch the type of fluoride, one that's more in line with the new guidelines and one they say is safer. However, switching to the new fluoride comes at a cost of thousands of dollars in equipment changes. But safer or not, not everyone agrees consuming any fluoride in water is a good idea. Whether it's in a foam or a gel form, using fluoride is a common practice at Midwest Dental in Holman. Protecting teeth and making them stronger, especially in kids, is uh, very crucial as their cleansing habits haven't entirely been developed. Dr. Joseph Weber says many of the patients he sees come from rural communities where well water is only available. Also, the village of Holman currently doesn't provide fluoride in its water. And because of these two reasons, he often prescribes prescription fluoride tablets for patients to help protect their teeth. I can't say that kids with fluoride in their water won't have cavities and I can't say that kids without fluoride are always going to have cavities. There's too many aspects to it but that's just one of the possibilities to try to prevent it and so we obviously encourage it. I personally am totally against it. Dr. Michael Berkeley at the Barge Chiropractic Clinic in La Crosse says while fluoride may have its benefits in external use, consuming it in drinking water just isn't safe. They have linked it to pituitary gland issues, to thyroid gland issues, to to um, dental fluorosis. That's very difficult to prove whether one way for it or against it because there's no way you can tell what's going to happen over the course of a lifetime at the cellular level by ingesting a, a toxic chemical. He says even though the village board will be implementing the chemical treatment in the future, he would rather everyone had a choice. It just makes good common sense that the cleaner the water, the cleaner the air, the better it is for you. Now we also reached out to the Village of Holman's Public Works Department as well as, the, as well as the Chairman of the Board for more information about the change in fluoride and the costs that come with it. Both were not available for comment today. Thank you, Pauline. Members of the Village of Holman Public Works Board will meet tomorrow night to further discuss the issue.